This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Okay, uh, this week we will discuss the land of promise, which has become the land of crisis. Uh, and uh, you're aware uh, for the past few weeks of the uh, uh, increasing uh, dismay of uh, our uh, brother Mindanaoans who are uh, facing 10, 12 hour power outages and probably hundreds of thousands of jobs are being sacrificed as this is going on. In uh, the year 2012, uh, April, there was a power summit, electricity power summit in Mindanao and uh, B.S. Aquino attended it and uh, made a speech and uh, promised that uh, uh, solutions were on the way to the power crisis. But again, two years later, uh, we hear this howls of pain and protest from Mindanao. At the same time, uh, this is uh, momentarily uh, uh, swept under uh, this issue of the uh, Muslim uh, autonomy, independence, uh, and uh, these related issues. The question of justice for Muslim Mindanao. Uh, of course, we have seen the uh, controversy over the uh, comprehensive agreement uh, on Bangsamoro. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, another uh, guest uh, to discuss this with us, but other than the uh, CAB or CAB, we also have the refugee crisis in Sambuanga. Thousands of refugees, a hundred dead already uh, among the refugees, and uh, other unseemly uh, uh, results of this uh, uncared for refugees that are, uh, who are languishing in Sambuanga. So we have two guests. Our um, uh, former governor of uh, Sulu, uh, Tawi-Tawi, uh, Governor Al Marim uh, Senti Tila, uh, president of the Parhimpunan Sin Islam, and the wazir of the uh, Sultan of Sulu, uh, as he'll explain later on. And of course, uh, our uh, regular guests when it comes to electricity, electricity and power issues, for the past four years already, Mr. Giorgio Bora, who is not only concerned with the uh, ongoing crisis uh, of uh, electricity in Mindanao, but also the national issue of uh, uh, high uh, or the highest power rates in Asia of Meralco and the continuing uh, shenanigans at the Energy Regulatory Commission. And by the way, congratulations, Giorgio. Uh, our, your criticisms against Dukut is not only about electricity now. Mm -hmm. Dukut is in the uh, pork barrel uh, Napoles list. Uh, yeah, are you yeah, aware of yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, Governor, uh, let's greet your people uh, here. Uh, uh, and I understand uh, GNN is very well followed in uh, Mindanao. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all our brothers in the south and also be to be with uh, Christian brethren in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mentioned Wazir. What is Wazir of the Sultan of Zulu? Well, I was just appointed by uh, Sultan mm -hmm. Ismail Kiram, the uh, reigning Sultan now mm -hmm. of uh, Zulu and North Borneo mm -hmm. as the Wazir. That's mm -hmm. actually equivalent to like Prime Minister coordinating uh -huh. the entire uh -huh. uh, executive okay. functions of mm -hmm. the Sultanate. Mm -hmm. And uh, who's the spokesman now? Uh, uh, still Abraham Ijirani. Uh, Ij Ijirani. Okay. So we'll start off with the issue of uh, power in Mindanao yeah. because that's the uh, uh, raging uh, controversy. Uh, 
I uh, also have an item here uh, from the cooperatives, uh, electric cooperatives of Mindanao, saying that it's not their fault. It's the fault of Epira you know, on the Mind Mindanao power shortage. But you have better insight. We have seen in 2012, 2013. Yes. You had a picture in 2012 uh, where mm. Napokor was throwing water away uh, at, uh, from the Mariana. That was 2013. Yes. And uh, just before we started the discussion, you were saying uh, the crisis now, power crisis in Mindanao, is because yeah. of these uh, repairs of Steyag and uh, August 6. Six. In 2012, August 4 was repaired. Yes. And uh, it only cost 7 million, 7 and a half million yeah. pesos to fix it. It increased the uh, uh, production of power of August 4 from 140 megawatt to 240 megawatt. Yes. For just 7 million pesos. Yeah, but now, update us on what is going on today. Let's make it clear. The mm. power crisis, the burnouts of 2012 was not because there was no power. Mm. There was power. But the 33 cooperatives of Mindanao choose not to buy power from uh, the Aboitis' uh, Therma Marine. Because it was just too expensive and to use the power, they had to sign long-term contracts. Which would commit them to which a... Which would commit them to keep on paying these rates even if they were not going to be used. So that also because it was too expensive, the cooperatives choose their one sack of rice, which was the difference between paying the electricity bill or paying one sack of rice. They choose the one sack of rice and paying the electricity bill. That's why to the embarrassment of the Almendras, uh, uh, Secretary Almendras, who thought that in Mindanao, bahala na kung mahal, bilhin. No, in Mindanao it's different. If it is too expensive, people just put off their lights mm. and choose their rice. Mm. Okay. In 2013, uh, there, were, there were again brownouts in 2013. That's why I have here a picture. That's why proof that while there were brownouts going on, in the entire uh, island of Mindanao, national power was throwing water to the sea. I was there. I witnessed it. And you, and you took pictures of it. I took pictures of it. And it does not have to be dated because I was a candidate for congressman well, at the time. It. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Okay. So, yeah. okay. So... Uh, ito, ito, yeah, ito, ito, ito. Okay. Uh, Sinadya, that is uh, the Agus 6 uh, hydroelectric plant downstream. But when you see the head of Marikishina Falls, it just means that it was diverted. It was diverted. The water was diverted from going into the turbines. It was diverted out and thrown to the sea. That is 200 megawatts. Mm -hmm. And... The start of the brownout of Mindanao in 2012 was a measly 55 megawatts. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay? And in 2013, the brownout and man. When I passed the, the bridge overlooking mm. August 6, the hydroelectric power plant, I was surprised because I just came from Iligan and there were brownouts in Iligan. So I called. I called the utility company, which I am one part owner of, and I asked the in charge. Why are we having brownouts? What is the official reason given by NGCPI? The official reason was water conservation. We're talking about now or? In 2013. 2013. April. Okay, okay. April. So, water, how can it be water conservation when they were throwing out the water? That's right. Now, 2014, May. Why is there uh, brownouts again in Mindanao? One of the reasons is the simultaneous shutdown of the Steyag power plant. Can you explain Steyag? What does that mean? Steyag is the coal-fired plant, power plant in uh, Belenueva, Misamis Oriental. And Steyag is the 200 name? 200 megawatts. Is the brand of the equipment or yeah, the, the... The corporation that owns it. the corporation. It. Steyag. Steyag. It's a German firm. You know Steyag. how many megawatts is supposed to... That's 200 megawatts. Okay. But shut down, Sila. Ago 6... Shut down then. The purpose of the shutdown was to, there are leaks in the, to, in, in the tubes bringing the water down to the mm -hmm. turbines. Mm -hmm. 
leaking, so most probably they are welding it or mm -hmm. they are fixing it. But I, my, my reason is why you shut the plant down for almost 11 months because there was too much water in Mindanao. Why did you not repair the turbines at that time? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to wait now that uh, uh, there is a scarcity of rain? But now, by the way, it's been raining already. Mm -hmm. So people in Mindanao, don't be mind conditioned by these uh, uh, people who want to grab the entire, uh, who want to privatize Mindanao. They are conditioning your minds to agree already to all this expensive or the building up of uh, signing of contracts because this is very temporary and it is man-made. It is not because there was not water because the, the Department of Energy purposely, I think, uh, is sabotaging the interest of the people in Mindanao when it comes to electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, well, again, you brought up uh, a, a, uh, a situation that reminds me of the December, January uh, inordinate increase in rates because uh, Meralco said Malampaya is under repair. Yes. Ano? Uh, and it turns simultaneous. out simultaneous, simultaneous, yeah. Malampaya and several other yeah. power plants, uh. which is, is now admitted uh, 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 was uh, because of collusion. Yes, it is now admitted. So collusion yeah, happens. Let's make that very clear. Collusion happens, hmm. and it smells collusion again in there, Mindanao, Mindanao. Okay. right now. Because why repair August six now? when yeah. you could have prepared before? Yes. Why repair uh, Stayag now mm. when you could have repaired it before summer? Yeah. At least mm. Agro 6, uh -huh. the, uh, the hydroelectric power plant mm. in Iligan, which is just a mm. stone throw from our, uh, from our place. So mm -hmm. we can check immediately. And by the way... Uh, why do they always break down? Another way of putting it. Huh? The coal fire plant and the malampaya and so on, they always break down at a time where either demand is so high Oh, yes. Or they can claim water is so low. Uh, they, they, they seem to break down during summer, but during uh, the December months when it rains and, uh, mm. you know, they, they're okay. They're but okay. they're throwing water at the time. Mm. Mm. So, sila shut down nila kasi sobrang tubig, tinatapo na yung tubig. Pero dapat inayos nila ang planta at that time. They had 11 months to fix but Algo also, six. Let's, it's also co always connected to the history of the power situation. Yes, yes. yes. When uh, Napocor was forced by Epira to sell all its power barges. Oh, and to stop, and to stop uh, Building, making power plants. Power plants so. Do you have any insight into why the government seems to be pushing and pushing coal-fired plant and not more hydroelectric and so on? Because they bungled it up. They, uh, they stopped. Uh, IPIRA stopped the national power from uh, developing the hydroelectric power plants. By the way, there is still available uh, for the hydroelectric plants in Mindanao uh, about 2,700 megawatts. So that's good for at least 10, 20 years. Another 100 years, another maybe 150 years. <laughs> Kung na-develop lang yan, I mean, the law will be, so we will be uh, the power will be cheap and uh, industries will be going up in Mindanao. Uh, for the benefit of the entire country, but because of this uh, monster law, this IPIRA, uh, the hands of the government are tied. They cannot uh, expand because expansion or total control of the power industry is reserved for big businessmen, businessmen who will make billions and billions of uh, pesos at the expense of the interests of the okay, poor Jojo, consumer. Before uh, we... Uh uh, run out of time for the first part. Uh, you also have uh, new discoveries of what ERC is doing. Yes. Uh, so please bring it up. You know, the, the recent uh, uh, Westem scandal. Wholesale electricity yeah. spot market. That recent one you're referring to is December, January. December, January. Uh, market there was, collusion. Uh -huh. There was a spike of 4 pesos and 71 centavos per kilowatt hour, total of which is about 10 billion pesos. 10 billion to the pockets of this uh, uh, business In people. one month? Uh, in one month only. In one month. 
they caught with such a big spike of 471, 4 pesos, 71 pesos. Immediately, there was an outcry. Mm. There was no need for, for documents to prove that there was something wrong. Just the mere fact of the increase of 471 brought, broke the camel's back. Mm. And the Supreme Court acted immediately na TRO yun, pagkatapos permanent ang TRO. Mm. Okay. Now, they're coming to, to avoid that kind of situation. Mm. ERC, I'm sure, this has been instigated by Miralco, mm -hmm. or the big guys in the power industry, is passing a, a, a resolution. It's, it does not have a number yet, a series of 2014. The main purpose of the resolution, a resolution amending Articles 2 and 3 of the rules governing the automatic cost adjustment and through up mechanisms and corresponding confirmation process for distribution utilities. In short, ang ibig sabihin nito na inaamenda ng ERC ang batas sa paghingi ng clearance ng isang kumpanya sa kagaya sa Miralco pag merong increase. Okay. Yung increase na 4.71, yun ay nabisto sila kasi masyadong malaki. Ang ibig sabihin nito na for as long as the increase is not more than 75 centavos per kilowatt hour, hindi na kailangan ng clearance, automatic Billing na. Yung Meralco o anumang kumpanya, oh, ano pwedeng ilagay na doon oh, sa billing. Meaning to say, kung mayyari-yari na naman yan, na sa isang buwan, may spike na 471, ang gagawin, ang gagawin lang nila ay i-chap-chapin lang nila yung hmm. bill nila at saka dahan-dahan lang. No. Because so, they can always manipulate so it. So ang mangyayari, uh, automatic, basta 75 centavos, oh, sige, na. ipasok ka agad. Pasok na. Hindi mapapansin ng tao because they will charge it uh, over 10 months, maybe, or 12 6 months. months. Tapos plus sa interest yan. Oh, tapos okay. sa susunod na buwan, oh. another 75 cent Ay, centavos. You will just, oh. automatic yung oh. sinasabi nila, when it is automatic, but you still have to get the clearance, it is provisional. But ito, ang mangyayari dito, nabayad na lahat, pagkatapos magre-reklamo yung consumer, sasabihin ng uh, Miralco, you file a case. Mm. Ano ang filing fee? Mm. Like 10 billion pesos. Ang laki. Impossible, mm. hindi mo na makuha. Mm -hmm. So they would just be saying, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, it's smooth and academic. Okay. So, uh, Giorgio, we have to drum this up again, no? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, sige, we'll uh, take care of that. Uh, but uh, uh, are you under the impression that all these are manipulated? Uh, because I am under that impression. Yeah, I asked ERC point black. Mm -hmm. Who requested for the amendment? Mm. Was it coming from ERC or was it a request from uh, Miralco? Mm. They couldn't answer me because, of course, it is Miralco. Mm. How can they it come from them? Para bang, At saka, you have been in the power business for three generations. Yes, Your family, yes. You know everything about yes. it. Hindi ba before, bago mag-increase, katakot-takot ang hearings, oh. application, oh. pahihirapan kayo. Oh. Ngayon lahat, Ibinibigay sa Meralco, Alcantara, Lopez, etc. O sige, magtaas kayo. Hahanap oh, tayo ng paraan oh, na maaaring igusot yan. Hindi nakalusot nung December, January. Yes. Oh. Yan Pero, ang uh, mangyayari talaga. Hmm. When Ipira was passed, me as a businessman, only utility company, yung pumasa na yung Ipira at saka na-implementa na yung sistema na performance-based rate, We'll continue with that after this break. Uh, okay, and then we also discuss... Okay. Uh